Okay, okay, so I'm going to be going over how to derive the unit circle ratios, okay? So, uh, you might have come across the following ratios based on the unit circle. Uh, the ratios that are known, these ratios that are known as the unit circle ratios, they are sine theta equals uh, y and cosine theta equals x and tan theta equals y over x and cosecant theta equals 1 over y secant theta equals 1 over x and cotangent theta equals x over y so the question is where did all these formulas come from they're known as the unit circle ratios but uh, how are they derived from the unit circle that's the question okay so today I'm going to be showing you how to um, derive these formulas from the unit circle. All right. So what we're going to do is uh, just we're going to draw a circle. Just make a sketch of a circle, and then see if we can derive those formulas from the circle. Okay. So we're going to assume that this circle is a unit circle. Okay. We'll go over what that means in a minute, but let's go ahead and uh, label it first. So we're going to draw a coordinate system. There goes our x-axis, and there goes our y-axis. Now we're going to pick an arbitrary point on the unit circle and we're going to call it xy. Okay? Call that point xy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a right triangle and I'm going to use right triangle trigonometry to generate the formulas for you. Okay? So let's generate a right triangle using that uh, point we created. Let's draw a point from the center to the point and then we'll, we'll draw a right triangle downwards like this. Okay? All right, now what are the dimensions of this right triangle I have just created? Well, since this is x and this is y, this, since this coordinate is xy, that basically tells me that the base length right here, this length, is x. Okay? And this length right here is y. All right, because um, this x coordinate indicates how far you go on the x-axis, and this y coordinate indicates how high you go here. So if you trace this all the way down, this is going to be the y tick mark, and this will be the x tick mark. Okay? So the entire length here is x and the entire length here is y. Alright? Now, um, how long is this radius right here? This length? I know that this is a right triangle. Let's put an angle here. 90 degrees. So I can call this the hypotenuse, right? How long is this side? Well, remember this thing I just sketched earlier. It's called the, it is a unit circle. Okay? Now, what on earth does that mean to be a unit circle? It means a circle of radius 1. Okay? So if this is a circle of radius 1, any point from the center to the extremity of the circle is going to be 1. So this is exactly the same thing as a radius, so this is 1 right here. Okay? Alright, now that we have the sides measured, what's the reference angle? We need a reference angle because that's what we're going to use to construct our trig ratios. The reference angle here, that's the reference angle, that's theta. Alright? So now I need to use the uh, trigonometric ratio, so katoa, you might have come across that before, to construct my unit circle ratios, okay? In order to do that, I need to know my opposite, my hypotenuse, and my adjacent. So where is the opposite hypotenuse and adjacent in this triangle? Well, let's go ahead and, and derive that. So uh, we have right across here, this side that's opposite the reference angle is known as your opposite. So that goes the O in Sokotoa. So we have the O taken care of. Now this side that's opposite to 90 degrees is the longest side and is also known as your hypotenuse. Okay? The side opposite to 90 degrees in every right triangle is a hypotenuse. So we have our H taken care of. Now we need our A. The third side is known as your adjacent. Okay? So there goes our A. So we now we're now ready to create our unit circle ratios, okay? So let's start with sine. What is sine theta? Sine theta from so is opposite over hypotenuse, right? So what's the opposite in this right triangle? The opposite is y, right? y, the hypotenuse, is 1. So y over 1 equals y. All right, so that goes the first value of the unit circle ratio. So the next one is cos uh, cosecant. Well, secant theta is known as the reciprocal of sine, okay? So if I reciprocate sine, so cosecant is 1 over sine, 
If our reciprocate sign is basically reciprocating this factor right here, which gives me the hypotenuse over opposite. And that is basically 1, which is the hypotenuse, over y, which is the opposite. So 1 over y is my value for cosecant. Now let's move along to ka. What does ka tell me? Ka tells me that the cosine theta is the adjacent of our hypotenuse, right? My adjacent is x, and my hypotenuse is 1. So x over 1 is x. Now, uh, what's the reciprocal of cosine? The reciprocal of cosine is secant. So if I reciprocate this, I'll have secant theta equals hypotenuse over adjacent. Okay, which is the same thing as 1 over cosine. Uh, 1 over cosine is the same thing as hypotenuse of adjacent, which is 1 over x. So that goes your secant. Now let's do tan. What is tan theta? Well, let's go back to Toa. Uh, you look at Toa. So tan theta is the opposite over the adjacent, right? Toa is opposite over adjacent. So how do we write that? Uh, opposite is y. Adjacent is x. So tan theta is y over x. All right, how about cotangent theta? Cotangent theta is adjacent over opposite, right? Which is a reciprocal of tan. We can write it says cotangent is 1 over tan, or adjacent over opposite for the reciprocal of tan, and that basically equals x over y. All right, so there goes your unit circle ratio. So let's, let's organize them together on a nice list. So your unit circle ratios, R sine theta equals y. Its reciprocal trig function cosecant theta is a reciprocal of y, which is 1 over y, as we derived over here. Cosine theta is x, uh, and the reciprocal secant theta is 1 over x. Tan theta is y over x, and its reciprocal cotangent theta is x over y. So here goes all your unit circle, all your unit circle ratios. Okay? So what do these unit circle ratios help you to do? Well, this is like uh, with the unit circle and these unit circle ratios, you don't necessarily need a calculator to find the exact value of your common angles. For example, if you're looking for, uh, let's use an example. Example. Uh, find the exact value, exact value of sine 30 degrees. If you know your unit, uh, you see this is a common angle because it's on a unit circle. So all we just have to do is uh, use our unit circle ratios to, to figure this out. So I'm just going to generate a tiny unit circle here, and then I'll show you how to uh, find this out. So uh, all I just need is 30 degrees, and I need to know where, uh, what the coordinates are. So let's say this is 30 degrees right here. So you can have your unit circle memorized, or you can have some teachers let students have it with them. So this is 30 degrees, and that tells me that the coordinates here are with 3 over 2 and 1 half. Okay? So notice that for the 30 degree angle, this is my x. And this is my y. So if I wanted to find sine 30 degrees, sine 30 degrees is simply the y coordinate of the point of the unit circle. That's y. And what is y? y is 1 over 2. So sine 30 degrees, using our unit circle, is 1 half. And I use this fact, sine theta equals y. I use it, I got it from this fact right here that sine theta uh, equals uh, 30 degrees. Okay? All right, how about if we wanted to find uh, cotangent uh, 30 degrees, for example, just for additional practice, cotangent 30. If I want to look for cotangent 30 degrees, how do I do it? Well, I know cotangent is x over y, right? Is x over y. I know my x is, which is 3 over 2, and I'm going to divide that by y, which is 1 half, okay? Now, to divide this out, I just need to multiply this by the reciprocal of that, because that's the same thing as dividing. Or I'll drop change flip, so I'll change this to root 3 over 2. 
times 2 over 1. Okay? The 2's divide out, multiply across, the final answer is the square root of 3. So for tangent th 30 degrees equals root 3. So you're doing all these calculations without the aid of a calculator. Okay? So that's the beauty of um, having the unit circle and knowing your unit circle ratios. Okay? All right. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel up here uh, for future videos. And also feel free to request videos. Um, more videos can be found on microserve.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.